and TV Uganda enlightenment on your hands always. Of May. And when it was uh, declared, what did we do? As a, as a country, uh, the ministry did, they communicated to regions and they communicated also to districts to alert us. And we start what we call surveillance activities on the ground. What is surveillance? We are doing surveillance also to look for, in a case, after uh, uh, isolating a, a polio vaccine in Bali, maybe we would also get uh, another isolation in Busia and we report. And uh, for many public health importance, there are some diseases when we get only one, it qualifies an outbreak. But others, we wait for five uh, thresholds before we declare. So among those diseases that we only see one case and we declare that it's an outbreak in that country, it's polio. Because it's very dangerous, it can spread from one person to another through oral routes. We, that time when they declared, we had the uh, different activities. What are those activities that we had? One, we strengthen the surveillance rule, the Mbali EOC. The Mbali EOC is our emergency surveillance point that supports uh, all the districts under Mbali. And the under Mbali EOC, we have 17 districts. That is 16 districts and one city. So they supervise us in terms of emergencies. So they were here, they came to support us in surveillance, in having meetings, in active surveillance continuously for us to rule out if we are going to have a case or no. But since then, we did not have a case in Busia. But since we isolated it in Bali, they declared it in the whole country, and the WHO had to do a lot of interventions uh, to follow. Strategy is house to house. I hope you got this during our communication. House to house. We are not going to assemble any children and a tree at school, wherever, except the kindergarten will be visited. The nursery is where they have children below five years will be visited by the vaccination teams. But it is house to house because most of these young ones stay at home, except for those who go with their mothers to the market, to the gardens and the other places, or they are traveling, wherever they will be, and, and they are met or found, they will be vaccinated. We have had challenges. Doctor, where we have other religions, dodge the immunization. Religions that are, are, are trying to deviate the minds of the Ugandans, not to get immunized, we shall handle them. Talk to the community and let them know what is going on. Uganda is also a landlocked what? country and is located in the Horn of Africa. If you see Africa come like this and this Horn, all those, all those countries in this Horn here, the Horn, they are also grown, they are also poor countries. And most of the time, those diseases begin from there, and there is a must they have to trade with Uganda, and they bring for us what? This disease. From history, it came from Somalia, through Kenya to where? To Mbali. It did not originate from here. For us, we try to perform, but now our neighbors have the issues. And especially, the people who are supposed to get information, facilitate them and empower them in relation to the budget. Let's use those radio stations that we are sure they will convey the information. First, then the second and the third eradicated. Then again, the first one, not yet. When we identify the Uganda, this type one, and how they identify type two and three before identify type one, because it's now making me think. Why that one persistent now? And it would have been even the first one to go.